My name's Barbara Yard and I'm a fine jeweller and designer. I got into jewellery making literally by accident. Met some people at Portobello Road because I used to sell there. Used to be making all sorts of things like mosaics and cushions and things like that. And I met a jeweller at Portobello Road. She told me about making jewellery and I was really fascinated. And I went off, found out some information did a foundation course, then I went off and did an HND, and I've been making now for nearly 14 years. Wandsworth is a really lovely place, it's a very green place. I've lived in Wandsworth all my life. First I lived in Southfield, then I moved to Tooting. I live near a common, so there's loads of open space, lots of inspirations in Wandsworth, especially just walking around and seeing things. So it's just a really nice place to get out and about, really. I was lucky enough to take part in Recreate 21, which was a really good business program. Just helped me look at my business in a different way. It's quite difficult sometimes when, you, when you're on your own running a business because you're the marketing, you're the accountant, you're the designer, you're the Instagram person, you're the Facebook person. And sometimes you do forget some things or some things just fall to the wayside. So it's nice for these types of programs to help you focus on certain things and just pull yourself back to getting into what you really were meant to be doing in the first place. Being a jeweller is very varied. I usually I work with lots of commissions, private clients, and I also do trade shows and shows for the general public. My favourite thing is commissions with private clients. Normally the client will come and visit me at my studio. We will sit and discuss what they want. Maybe it's a special um, milestone present that they won or a gift for somebody or a gift for themselves sometimes so we will discuss what colour materials they want to use if they want gemstones or not I'm quite lucky I've got a lovely array of gemstones because I was lucky enough to go to India and go to a gemstone dealer so I collected a lot so I'll show the customer those my client those first of all then I will do a rough sketch for them, then I will do a render, then I will make the piece in silver as a tester for them, and then when they say okay, they'll go ahead and make the real thing in the precious metal that they've chosen. At the moment I'm working on a commission for a necklace, it's sterling silver, aquamarine rose cut gemstone. It's for a 16th birthday present. Um, I sat with her mum and we just discussed something that she would really like that she'd be able to keep forever and aquamarine is her birthstone and hopefully she'll really like it. The main responsibility of a jeweller is communication with your client. Make sure you know exactly what they want, that you and your client are both on the same page. That's why it's really good to do an actual physical drawing of your piece. And, and like I said before, it's really great, even better, if you can make a physical piece. So, because you're working with precious metals, you're working with gemstones, and you, and you really don't want to get it wrong, and you don't want a disappointed client. Being a jeweller, a lot of people don't have any qualifications and some people just fall into it. And, and that's really great if you can do that. But I know for myself, I needed to be able to have a qualification because my artistic background really wasn't there at the beginning. So I did a foundation course, then I did an HND. And the HND was really good because I sat at the bench from day one. All of the work I did, was at the bench, it was very, very little theory, which I was really pleased with. Then after I'd finished my HND, I went to work for a well-known jeweler for two years and got my skills going with that. That's where I started really working with gold. 
I've done a few courses with the GIA, they're a Gemology Institute of America and I've just really kept up my skills because things are changing all the time so it's just nice to keep up your skills and get do different courses now and again. How to do really good renders which are high quality drawings of your jewellery. Just realised, and this is after quite a while, that customers actually want that with their piece. So now I will always do a high-end render with the piece that the client has ordered. Working with Alexander McQueen on a collection, because I just think they're absolutely fantastic, or actually any of the fine jewellery houses, them giving me a call and saying, Barbara, we want you to design our latest collection. That would be my dream job. My role model is Wendy Ramshaw. She doesn't do traditional jewellery. It's very sculptural and architectural, but it's absolutely stunning. Don't give up. It is really difficult to get in. It's an expensive industry to enter because you're working with precious metals and precious gemstones. So it may take you a bit of time to get recognised, to get into competitions, get into fairs, but just keep going and it will happen for you.